Hello everyone. I am Vedan from class 8B from BVM Global, Perumgudi. I am a journalist of National Snake Channel. So let's take an interview with Nagraj, who is the king of snakes. Hey, Mr. Nagraj, we would like to ask two questions for today. The first one is, why do you always flick your tongue out? You humans are lucky having nose to easily smell things, but we have only four tongues, which we use to collect chemical stimuli floating in the air to deliver the bonomastal organ that is situated in the roof of its mouth. Hey, that's wonderful. The second question I want to ask is the snake sleep. Now, how many hours would they sleep? Yeah, we do sleep, but not like humans. The season can play a role for us in sleeping habits. Most of the snakes, like me, spend about 16 hours per day asleep. In the winter, we would sleep up to 20 hours. Hey, that's fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Nagraj, for your valuable time. And thanks, everyone, for watching the show. Hope you got some information about snakes. Hello, everyone. This is Tulsi Lakshmi from Class 7B. Today, I'm going to perform an experiment related to acid, basic, and some natural indicators. Let us see what the experiment I'm going to perform. By this experiment, I have shown what is neutralization reaction. So, uh, let us uh, see about it detailly. I will explain it. First, we have applied the um, turmeric mixed water into a plain paper. After that, a detergent solution like detergent mixed with water, I have drawn using that in that uh, turmeric applied paper. So, when these are combined, we can see an red color forms. So, this red color is formed because of the neutralization reaction. Uh, the uh, turmeric is a natural indicator and is a, it is an in, uh, acidic solution and the detergent water is a basic solution. So, this all combined to form a neutralization reaction. So, the yellow color change into red color and after that, I have add some lime water into it. Uh, I have added something like that. So, when I uh, put that lime water into that uh, turmeric paper, we can see that the words are erased. So, because of the uh, reaction, it is erased. The lime water is an acidic solution that helps to uh, get the color of the turmeric again from the detergents. Thank you. Hello, I am Ananya Sabesan of Class 7B and I am going to be doing an experiment for the National Science Day. For this experiment, you will need two glasses. lemons of the same size, common salt, and water. Now I'm going to pour the water equally in both the glasses. Like this. Now I'm going to add one lemon here and the lemon sinks. 
Now I'm going to add two cups or two spoons of common salt which I kept in the bowl. And now I'm going to mix it. And now I'm going to drop the other lemon but then this lemon floats so this happens because the salt water has more density than the lemon whereas in this the lemon has more density than the water thank you Hey guys, what's up? So this is Kanishka from class 8A. So today we are going to see science facts. So I have been brought to you with four science facts. I really don't know if you guys know or don't know. But then, yeah, I have been brought to you guys to know something new. So, yeah. Let's go. Okay, fact number one. The average human body carries ten times more bacterial cells than human cells next fact number two a hedgehog art beats about 300 times in a minute good morning everyone i'm ritika from class 8b today i'm going to show you an experiment on air pressure materials required two transparent plastic bottles two balloons put the balloon inside the plastic bottle and cover the mouth of it and blow See, it is not blowing because the air pressure inside the bottle doesn't allow the balloon to blow. I will put another balloon into the bottle and cover the mouth of it and try to blow it. See, it is not, it is blowing because I have put a hole inside the bottle. This allows the uh, air pressure inside the bottle to move out and allow the balloon to blow in a greater side. Hope you all understood the concept in air pressure. Thank you. Hi all this is Lakshita of class 8B here to present an interesting facts about sea animals. Whales. Have you ever wondered what is the biggest sea animal? It's the blue whale which is the biggest animal in the ocean and the whale planet. It is about 30 meter long and can weigh up to 150 tons. It feeds on tiny shrimp like creatures called krill and eats about 4 tons every day. Like other great whales, the blue whale has special sieve like part in its mouth that are called baleen plates. Can whales sing songs? Yes. All whales make sounds such as squeaks and moans. The umbuck whale really does seem to sing. The males probably do this to attract a mate. He may repeat his song for up to 20 hours. There is an another interesting fact about whales which grow tusk. The narwhal has a tusk like a unicorn. This tusk is a long twilly tooth that comes out of the whale set. The males can use their tusks as weapons when they fight over females. The tusk can grow to 3 meters in length. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Chelyan. I am studying in class 7, A section. I am going to do a neutralization reaction. For the National Science Day, we have acid solution and base solution. A test tube, a dropper, indicator, yellow and red litmus paper. Now, we are going to check the acid and base. For that, we have taken a red and yellow litmus paper. 
Now I am going to dip uh, the yellow litmus paper to the base solution. Now you can see that uh, the color changes to red. When we dip the red litmus paper to the acid solution, it turns yellow. Now we have take a test tube and we are going to pour 5 ml of sodium hydroxide. the base solution becomes pink color. Now, after uh, adding the noctiline indicator, we are going to put drop by drop of HCl solution. We have to mix well when we are putting the drops of HCl solution. Now you can see that the color has changed. Now we will test the solution using the litmus paper. When we dip the yellow litmus paper, it do not show any change in color. When we dip the red litmus paper, even that do not show any color changes. Now, this is a neutralized solution. Neutralization reaction in which acid react with base resulting in the formation of salt and water is called a neutralization reaction. Formula Na NaOH plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O. Sodium hydroxide plus hydro hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Akshit Ram and I am from class 7B. Today I am going to tell you about some interesting science facts. Water can boil and freeze at the same time. It occurs when the temperature and pressure is just right for the three phases, gas, liquid and soil. Laser can get trapped in a waterfall due to its ex internal pressure and it looks like a crazy jellyfish under water. A cracked egg on land might make a big mess but 18 meters 60 feet below the surface of the ocean the pressure on the egg is 2.8 times the atmospheric pressure and it holds it all together like an invisible eggshell. Eggshell. Cats always land on their feet. Cats actually actually use the two halves of their bodies separately to ensure rapid rotations. If you spin a ball as you drop it, it flies. Um, when the air on front side of a spinning object is going 
the same direction as it spins which means it gets dragged along with the object and deflect and is deflected back thank you and have a nice day good morning ma'am my name is sadhana from class 7b today i am going to show a science experiment When the cap is on the bottle the air pressure in the bottle is equal to the air pressure outside the bottle since the pressure in the same nothing comes out of the uncovered hole at first when the cap is taken off the water squeezes out of the bottle when the lid is closed tightly the effect of the atmospheric pressure is not experienced on the surface of the water in the bottle hence the water cannot flow out of the bottle Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. I'm Shree Rashi of Class 8B. Today, I'm going to present you some interesting science facts. There is a lot of DNA in body. A lot, by I mean that it can stretch around the sun to Pluto and back 17 times. The number of bacteria cells in your body is more than the number of human cells by 10 times. Do you know what are called hyperaccumulators? Sunflowers are called. Do you know what animals do when they do not know where they are? They use a magnetic field to know where they are. And finally, humans are the only ones who can enjoy spicy taste. Thank you. One, my name is Ayanesh of Class 7B. Today, I'm going to be doing an experiment. This experiment is known as is known as Turing glass. So. For this experiment, we need eight glass tumblers, water, and a wooden stick or pencil. First, we need to pour uh, uh, pour water inside the glass tumblers, and we should do it in ascending order. For this, I put one scoop of water. Uh, this two scoops, three scoops, four scoops, five scoops, six scoops, seven scoops, eight scoops of water. So now. I need to uh, hit the glass. Did you hear that sound? Uh, ah, different glasses make different uh, types of sound. This happens because we know that sound causes vibration. So when we hit the glass tumbler, it causes it to vibrate. So. The more water, the deeper the vibrations, and the deeper the tone. So, if we pour more water in the a glass, um, if we pour more water in the glass, the tone gets lower, and if we pour less water in the glass, the tone of the sound gets higher. Thank you. Hello all. My name is Akshay. I am from class seven. In this video, I am going to talk about some of, some of the amazing facts about a camel. A camel has three stomachs. A camel chews the food, and the food is formed into a curd in the first stomach. In the second stomach, digestive juices are secreted, and in the third stomach, uh, the food is completely digested. And one more fact. Do you know this? A camel's hump weighs about forty to fifty kgs. This hump is not made of any bone. It is instead made up of muscles and fats. A camel can go without water for six to ten days. I hope these facts were amazing and exciting. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Varun Sarnan of Class Seven A. Today I'm going to be testing the conductivity of these four solutions. So I have my circuit present over here. So my circuit is consists of battery, switch, two resistors, 
uh, meter and an LED. So when I'm going to be dipping these two wires into the solutions I have here. This is tap water, this is filter water, this is soap solution and this is oil. So when I dip these two wires in the uh, in the solution, it forms a complete circuit. But if, if the solution I dip it into is a conductor or an insulator, that uh, that uh, it, it will make the an LED glow and not glow respectively. So the first one we have on the list is tap water. I'm going to be testing. This is tap water. I'm going to be dipping these two wires into the liquid. According to my guess, I think that the LED will glow because tap water is not completely pure and has some impurities which will conduct the electricity. So let's turn the switch on. The LED glows and the meter says 7.5 milliampere. Shows that uh, the tap water is a conductor. So I'm going to write it on here. Milliampere's. Okay, so next I have the filter water. Now let's see if this is a conductor. I'm going to turn the switch on. The LED glows, it glows a little dimly. So the reading says 3.5 milliampere's. I'm going to write it on the board. Next is soap solution. I'm going to dip this in the soap solution. According to my guess, I think that soap will be a conductor. Let's see. Yeah, it glows a little dimly and the reading says 4.5 milliampere's. Okay, let's start right on the board. Next is oil. Next is oil. I'm going to start putting, I'm going to put these wires in the oil liquid. I think, I think that oil is not a conductor. Now let's turn, let's turn the switch on. The LED doesn't glow and the meter doesn't show a reading. So this shows that oil isn't a conductor. I'm going to write it on the board. So I have tested these conductor, I have tested these solutions conductivity. So from this we can conclude that Tap water is the, out of these four solutions, tap water is the most conductive solution. Next is soap solution. After that, filter water, then oil. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Bhuvashika. I am studying in class 7A. Today, I am going to say an interesting fact about the golden blood type or the RH NAS blood group. This is found to be the rarest because it contains NURH antigens or proteins present in the red blood cells as we have in a Mo count. Um, the whole world's population is 7.3 billion, but the people who have the golden blood are in the less count of 50. It was first seen in Aboriginal Australia. Thank you. Have a nice day. A cup of water, matchsticks, a glass cup, and nail polish. Now just I uh, will take the glass cup and I pour the water. I pour the water in this glass cup. Now now I just I pour the So now you, you are going to see that the fire was in that water, above the water.
National Science Day Facts by Netra G of Class 8B Stomach acid is strong enough to dissolve stainless steel. Your stomach digests food with the help of highly corrosive hydrochloric acid with a pH of 2 to 3. This acid also attacks the stomach lining which protects itself by secreting an alkali bicarbonate solution. The lining still needs to be replaced frequently and it entirely renews itself every four days. Earth is a giant magnet. Earth's inner core is a sphere of solid iron surrounded by liquid iron. Variations in temperature and density create currents in this iron which in turn produce electrical currents. Lined up by the Earth's spin, these currents combine to create a magnetic field used by the compass needles worldwide. Babies have around 100 more bones than adults. Babies have about 300 bones at birth with cartilage between many of them. This extra flexibility helps them pass through the birth canal and also allows for rapid growth. With age, many of the bones fuse, leaving 206 bones that make up an average adult skeleton. It takes 8 minutes 19 seconds for the light to travel from the sun to the earth. In space, light travels at 30 lakh km per second. Even at this breakneck speed, covering the 150 million odd kilometers between us and the sun takes considerable time. And 8 minutes is still very little compared to the 5.5 hours it takes for the sun's light to reach Pluto. Thank you. Greetings. I am Mahita of class 8A and today I will be showing you an interesting experiment called rainbow test tube. So, the materials required are 3 cups, a stirring spoon, a tablespoon, a cup of milk, crystal powder, a test tube with its stand, some water and 3 different food colorings. So, let's get started. So we need to fill in 15 ml of water into each cup. So I am measuring 15 ml. So one cup is filled with water now. The other cup is also filled with water now. And the last cup is filled with water, water too. So we have added 15 ml of water into 3 cups. Then we need to add 2 drops of red colouring in the first cup. Yeah. Then 2 drops of blue in the second cup. And last but not the least, 2 drops of yellow in the third cup. So this is my crystal powder and now I am going to add half scoop of crystal powder into each cup. Yeah, so I have added crystal powder into each cup with color. So now I am going to stir it.
Hello everyone, I'm Chris Andrea from class 6A. Today I'll show you two experiments. This is turmeric. I'll add some water to it. This is detergent. When I mix it with the turmeric, the mixture turns red. This is lemon juice. When I add lemon juice to the mixture, it turns yellow again. As you can see, when alkaline solutions like detergent get added to turmeric, the mixture turns red. But it regains its color when acidic substances like lemon juice is added. This is because turmeric is a natural indicator. Now this is the second experiment. I have plain water salt water and an egg. When I drop the egg into the plain water, it sinks. But when I drop it into the salt water, it floats. This is because the density of the salt water is more than the density of the egg while the density of the plain water is lesser than the density of the egg which is why it sinks in it. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Moksha Vardhini and I am from class 6C. I am going to do an experiment with water, lemon, uh, turmeric powder and detergent. First I am using the turmeric powder. And then I am pouring some water. And mixing it well. Now this is yellow color. Now I am going to use detergent powder. And now I am mixing it up. And it became red color. Now Again, I am pouring some lemon juice inside it. And it's turning yellow. And see, it turned yellow and it also, and it is also overflowing from the bowl. So that's all the experiment. So hi everyone, this is Bargo from Class 6B. Uh, today I am going to do my experiment for National Science Day. Uh, before, uh, happy National Science Day to all, all the students and teachers. Now let's look into my experiment. Have normal water and salt water here. I am going to drop a lemon in the normal water. And now this, this lemon sinks. Then uh, we have uh, salt water here. So let's drop another lemon the salt water and this floats so uh, it's because of the density of the salt water and the normal water uh, the normal water has less less density than the salt water so uh, this is my experiment thank you
past 7 b Today, I got an interesting fact. A cloud can weigh around a million pounds. We all thought that clouds were very really light like cotton candy, but no, they almost weigh like a million pounds. Science facts. There is enough DNA in an average person's body to stretch from the sun to Pluto back for 17 times. It can rain diamonds on Neptune. You can't taste food without saliva. Oxygen is in pale blue color when it's in the form of liquid or solid. Grasshoppers have ears in their bellies. Half of your body is bacteria. A teaspoon of Neutrostar would weigh around 6 billion tons. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Mohit of Class 6B. Today, I am going to make an experiment for National Science Day. For this experiment, we need detergent, spoons, turmeric powder, glass of water and lemon juice. Now, we need to add lemon turmeric powder to the water. And now, we have to stir the water. Now we need to add detergent. And now we have to mix it. Now the water is red in color. Now we have to add lemon water to it. And now the water has changed back to, to yellow in color. Lemon is a natural indicator so it turns back to its original color. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shriya from Class 7A and today I am going to be telling you about 5 interesting facts about humans. Did you know that the longest man to ever live on this earth was Shirley Nislimov and he was 168 years old when he passed away? Do you know that male eyes are 0.5 times bigger than female eyes and that the human eye can distinguish more than 10 million different colors. Hmm, did you also know that most humans usually blink around 15 times per minute? Or that the ears of children are far more sensitive to sound than the ears of adults? Well, I hope you enjoyed all of these different facts and I hope you learned something new today. Thank you. Good day all. I am Krishna Vedar. I am going to talk about the scientific fact. The earth is a giant planet. Earth in the core is a sphere of solid iron, surrounded by liquid iron. Variances in temperature and density create current in this giant, which in turn produce electrical currents. Lined up by the earth's spin, these currents combine to create a magnetic field. Venus is the only planet to spin clockwise. Light takes 8 minutes 19 seconds to, to travel from sun to the earth. The Eiffel Tower can be 15 cm taller during the summer. 
Since Lord searches we with his bands and joints, which allow them some leeway to expand and contact without causing any damage, the tallest flowering plant is eagle touch, which can reach up to 122 meter in height. The smallest flowering plant is the duckweed. It is 0.5 millimeter long. The largest flower is the stinking cups lily, rafacea, which can go up to 90 centimeter diameter. Polar bears are nearly undetectable by infrared cameras. Thermal cameras detect the heat lot by observed that as infrared, but polar bears are experts at conserving heat. The bears keep warm due to a thick layer of blubber under the skin. Hi all, good day. My name is Arumani from class 6C. Today I am going to do an experiment with soaps, two glasses of water and two eggs. Now I am going to take an egg and put it in this cup. See, it's sinking. Now I am going to add two teaspoons of salt. Stir completely when the salt dissolves. The salt has been dissolved. Now I'm going to take an egg and put it in the salt water. See, the egg is floating. Why? Because in this in this cup, the egg has the higher density and the water has the lesser density. In this, the salt has the higher density, the egg has the lower density. So this is my experiment. Thank you.